up guys? You know what time it is? Hookah time. And on today's hookah time review, we'll be going over the Deezer freeze hose. So this is a product review instead of the usual shisha review. And yeah, I just got this maybe about two or three weeks ago. And I've been testing it out at least 10 times. Uh, I think between, the, but within those couple of weeks, I think I've used this about 10 times. And so now I think I'm ready to finally give a good review on it. So let's get, start off with the good sides of it. The good sides, I would say, I, yeah, it's a freeze hose. So obviously what you're doing is freezing these compartments here um, that are really cold. I think I left this overnight in the freezer. Yeah, I did. I left it for about maybe nine or eight hours. You don't have to leave it that long, but I left it about that long in there and it is really cold. They have a little grip at the bottom of this part portion. So it makes it a lot easier to deal with. Though if your hands are really hot, it's also not bad to hold on to that. But yeah, it's two compartments. You can actually unscrew it. You um, can unscrew it from the base. You can unscrew it from the top and this middle part. So you can either use just one compartment, both compartments, or you don't even have to use the freeze portion at all and it can be a regular hose, which is an added bonus to it if you ask me. For about, I think I've had it stay cold for a max of about an hour and a half to two hours. I can't remember if it made it to two hours, but I know at least an hour and a half. If you leave it in the freezer for at least two hours, you should have an hour and a half of cold smoke, nice refreshing smoke entering your lungs. And it's definitely a great feeling, especially living in Georgia. It's gonna be a lot better on these hot days to have something that'll just be nice and cooling when you're just burning up in this Atlanta heat. <laughs> oh yeah, and for the setup today, let me throw that back out there. I've got my usual setup, Khalil Mamu Hookah. Uh, well, of course, you know the Diesel Freeze Hose, Clay Traditional Bowl, three titanium coals, and for the mix in the bowl, I went with something simple, all off walkers, blueberry, orange, and I think some mint. And yeah, I would say, I think it cost about $30. I got it from Hookah Hookup and definitely worth it. It feels great, it smokes great, and I really like it. I will mention the downsides though, so let me go into that. The downsides do not outweigh the pros to me. Personally, I think it does a great job and I think you should definitely get one if you're interested in getting a free hose. The downsides I would say, one that's not really a major thing. Uh, you will probably want to keep a towel by you because it freezes so obviously the um, condensation gets on the outside. A little bit will probably get on the inside of the hose. So if you're smoking it and you hear a slight or feel a slight bubble uh, while you're inhaling, it's probably a little bit of the moisture that's gone through the hose and now you're just getting that air uh, coming through the water. Nothing big though, you're not sucking in water. You will barely notice it honestly, and if you do notice it, it's gonna be at the end of it. So that's not even a huge issue. I would say as well, it's not a, it's not a good product to use if you're just a last second doing a hookah. This is something you plan to smoke it. <laughs> you want at least a two to three hour prep time before using a freeze hose because you need to get the compartment frozen and at least two hours will give you a good session. If you just leave it in there 30 minutes to an hour, you're not gonna necessarily get anything frozen. There is glycerin inside of the chambers, so it actually hold, um, gets colder quicker, so it doesn't take as long. And it also, I believe it also lasts longer because of that. I don't think it thaws out as quick as if the chambers had water in it to turn into ice. However, I would also say that it does, you do lose a little bit of your smoke thickness if you're, um, if you're big into making huge clouds. This isn't the product you want to use necessarily, if that's what you're going for. Usually I do. I will admit I'm willing to give some of that trade-off though for the fact that it gives you that nice, cooling, refreshing hit while you're smoking it. It's just nice right into the lungs. It feels great. And I would say, 
You'll want to probably push your coals a little bit closer on the bowl than just leaving them on the edge at the beginning so that you'll heat it up a little quicker if you're still looking for that cloud output. However, it is easy because of this being a freeze hose and not being able to taste the harshness sometimes, it is easy to burn your shisha quicker. However, it's also easier to recover because you're not feeling that harshness. You can kind of move them away and let it die down on its own and the coolness will actually help prevent you from choking on harsh smoke. So that's a plus and a minus. You know, it could burn your shisha, but it's a good, you can recover from it and you don't even have to stop smoking or take off the coals, blow inside the bowl and get the harsh smoke out of it. You, you actually should be able to do pretty good. Just be able, just kind of feel for it, just kind of taste. Usually it's a taste, you won't feel the, um, the burn from like a harsh smoke. You'll actually be able to kind of taste if it's starting to burn a little bit and that makes it much easier. But as you can see, you can still get some nice clouds out of it. And as it thaws down a little bit, the, th the, the smoke will start to come back up. You'll start to pick it into your usual thing. And then once it goes back to being room temperature, it'll get the smoke back. And it won't have that same cooling effect, but you would have been smoking it for about two hours anyways. So it's not that big a deal. You'll be perfectly fine with it. So... And I've decided I'm going to stop doing this numbers rating system only because for me, I don't believe that I'm objectively rating them well enough. I'm really basing it on stuff that I smoked previously and it's kind of, I don't think I've, I don't think I'm giving a fair enough rating because everything that I like is going to be between an 8 and a 10 and everything that it, if I don't like the flavor, it could be that the flavor is doing a good job. It could have a strong flavor and I'm not a big fan of it. It's going to max hit a seven. So let's take that out. I'm realizing my numbers are meaning nothing. They mean crap. Let's go ahead. Those last videos where I give numbers, forget all that. Just listen to my description of it. And I think I'll just try to describe it the best way I can, let you know what I do like about what I don't. And that'll be probably my review on my pro on any of the products she should and otherwise in the future I think that will be a better way of helping you guys get a better understanding of it than throwing a number just because I think a rating should have a number let's forget all that so but I will let you know if I recommend something or not these are freeze hose I definitely recommend it's great for especially hot days it's nice even on just cooler days I'm probably not gonna use it much in the winter who needs cold on cold? I know a couple friends. And I think that's well I need to really say about it. I mean, it's, it's hard to say much more on a product that I like, that even, you know, even with its small negatives, nothing even mild, you know, huge. Like for me, the condensation, you just carry a towel with you. It's really nothing. You place it on the towel, you can just wipe it down, just make sure. No water is there. That's about it. You're pretty much good other than that. The thick smoke thing, you can still get good smoke. Just heat up your shisha a little bit more. Don't go overboard and just toss everything directly in the center. You will definitely burn it through and you'll probably feel it through the hose. I haven't tried that because I'm not crazy. Yeah. And yeah, this is where I'm gonna leave it off. I, my next hookah time review Will, I want it to be on a hookah, however, money needs to supply that hookah. So that will probably be probably another two videos before that one comes out and that will be more of an unboxing video as well with the review. And I'll have a guest star, he knows his name, you guys will meet him when he gets here. But if you have any other questions on it, please leave a comment down in the section below. If you guys are curious on anything else, I should be leave, just, just message me. Yeah, I mean, I've got a Facebook page, a hint of mints. I will put it in the description as well, as, uh, as well as any of the music that I'm using in this video. Also, if you haven't watched Dear White People, you must. It is amazing. Screw the 6.1 rating that it got on IDBM or whatever. Show was amazing. Made me feel. Alright, it was great. 10 episodes, totally worth it. 10 out of 10. 
But all right, guys, let me stop before I just start talking about other random stuff that's going on and watching because there's a lot of good stuff out there and it's not hookah related. So until next time, guys, don't forget to set up your hookah so you can smoke with me. I'll see you next time.